guys so it is Sunday it's exactly one week to the day of when I um, started this journey and I can say that I am still very pumped and still very pleased with the progress um, so if I can do it you can do it because I was a big lazy slob before and all I did was eat and not work out and tell myself that was cool but it wasn't so if I can do it you can do it um, so today when I woke up this morning I'll be honest yesterday I did Saturday I did my workout in the morning um, felt really good I did my 3k walk and did the hill the little hill by the park by my house um, seven times um, then I, all afternoon we went out to barbecues and we had a pig roast and a birthday party to hit two different parties yesterday afternoon. We had a jam-packed afternoon and evening. Um, by the time we got home, I was really good. I didn't pig out. Um, I ate just enough. I didn't. I did have a tiny little slice of cheesecake. That was the first like sweets and candy that I've had since. Um, so to be honest, I didn't. Uh, I didn't overdo it like I thought I was going to. Um, also, when I woke up this morning, I did not sleep in my bed last night because we had a visitor in our bed, so I got out of bed because there just wasn't enough room and I went and slept in his bed. Um, and his bed's really soft. So I did not have a good sleep last night. I woke up so cranky and upset and just depressed this morning. Sluggish, like all heck. Um, didn't want to do anything. Uh, was just cranky with everybody. I feel really bad. Sorry, peeps, to my family. I'm so sorry. Um, kind of lied around. Told myself I wasn't going to work out today. Today was going to be my rest day. I'm just going to lock myself in my bedroom watch movies. It's raining out. Raining. So I just told myself that I'm going to be miserable by myself and then um, I just kind of said, you know what, no actually, I, I don't want to spend my Sunday like this so I'm going to get my butt up, get some workout gear on, throw a hat on and we're going to work out today. I went to, I'm at Greens Creek um, so I'm going to do a big walk and maybe the hill, I don't know though, it's been raining, I don't know if it, how slippery it is, I don't want to fall on my face coming up that steep hill. Um, so I'll maybe do it once and see how it is. If it's not too slippery, I'll give her a go again. Um, but yeah, so I'm at the hill again, and I would bring my video camera with me to get some footage, but it's pretty rainy, and I don't have a good uh, waterproof camera yet. That's definitely... I want a GoPro. I'm gonna get a GoPro. So I've got my hat on. I'm gonna leave my camera in the car. I was hoping by the time I got here it would lighten up, but it's still a steady rain. So I'm gonna leave my camera in the car. Sorry guys, you're not gonna have any good footage today. I was really hoping to get some cool footage. Not today. So uh, also what I'm gonna try to do today is not just my regular map my walk. I'm gonna try the couch to 5k. So it's like one minute of walking, one minute of jogging. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. I don't jog normally, um, but since it's raining and nobody's gonna be here, I'm gonna embarrass myself jogging, practice my jogging today. Day. It's gonna be uh, I don't really do it. I feel that when I do jog I'm very flaily um, And I feel like I don't jog gracefully like you the joggers that you see on the paths and on movies and stuff um, So today is gonna be my day that I work out those kinks all by myself on the trail here in the rain So I'm excited so I'll do my workout and then I'll give you guys a little post uh, debrief once I get back uh, I know that sucks. It's not very exciting um, But yeah, that's what I got to do today um, so that I don't wreck my camera and I can keep making videos for you guys. <laughs> so here I go. Have a good one, guys, and we'll see you when I get back. Hey, guys. Okay. So I just got back from my very first time working out in the rain. Um, it's a lot of fun. The only thing is it gets a little slippy in some of the areas here. Uh, some of the trails are paved, some of the trails have gravel, and some of the trails are nothing but mud. So th as soon as I hit the trails with nothing but mud, um, it was like, I felt like Bambi on ice. Um, I didn't follow my butt, didn't get any mud on my butt. So happy. Um, feel really good, like, night and day compared to how I felt when I first left and to when I get ba got back. Um, night and day. It's insane. I really needed that workout. Uh, I was in a little bit of a funk this morning, but I just walked it off. Now I feel really good. I didn't do the big hill here, that gigantor, majestic hill, only because it's been raining all day and it is slippery. If I was walking like that on the muddy trails, upright there's no way I was gonna be able to make it up those without like soccer cleats on or something that hill so 
I had to just stare at it longingly. I waved to it as I walked by. I would have taped it for you, but like I said, it's peeing rain out there. It's just raining. Like I said, it's just like pouring rain out there. I don't know if you could see. It's pouring rain. Okay, so right now I'm dripping wet, um, both because of the rain and the sweat. I did the um, Couch to 5K app this time around. Um, like I said before I left, I'm a terrible runner. Um, I have like no stamina when it comes to running because the way the Couch to 5K app works is you do five minute warm up of walking and then a little bell rings and it tells you to jog or run. Start running now, I think it says. Um, so I started a slow jog and I swear to God I was like 10 seconds into, I'm pretty sure it's a minute long of jogging. I was like 10 seconds in and I was like, oh my God, I'm not gonna make it. And so I just jogged as long as I could, um, which I believe is about 30 seconds. Um, then I started walking. Um, I did one full minute of jogging, one full set of jogging. I know it's my first time and I shouldn't be so hard on myself, but honestly, I should have done more than just the one minute. Um, one of the times when it said to start running, I was on a really steep hill and I could barely walk up those hills, so I'm going to be honest, there was no way I was going to attempt running up the hill. Um, so I told myself when I got to the top I would run, and then when I got to the top I didn't run. Um, there was a lot, today I've had a lot of like tugging back and forth internally, um, whether or not I want to work out like the the evil the little evil guy on my shoulder today has been really vocal and telling me like no just rest just rest so I need to like wake this little guy up and be like hello kick this guy's butt I feel really good about my walk today I really love the fact that you guys support me yesterday I went to a barbecue with all my friends and everybody was saying that they're watching the videos and they were subs subscribing and I'm so blessed to have such supportive friends. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Um, I even had a couple friends give me pointers and that's what I want. I want pointers. I want your input. I'm doing this kind of um, on the go. I don't really have a plan. Um, just trying to keep it exciting and interesting so that I keep wanting to get out there and moving. Um, and Friday's workout was great where I had friends come with me, Pat and Lauren and Josh. That was awesome. It's always so much better with friends. Um, but sometimes it's nice to be by yourself too. Like today I really, I needed that to clear my head just to be by myself. Instead of being locked in my bedroom in bed, I got out here and just cleared my head on this walk. And there's nothing better than just walking and you could just think of so much stuff. Like I thought of my whole week, what's going to happen this week. I thought of my past week and all the accomplishments. Um that I've done like I just I can't believe this um, my clothes fit nicer today my my mother-in-law came over and she brought me like a whole new wardrobe I love her thank you thank you Lucy um, so now and now I feel better about myself you know I don't feel bloated like I did a week ago um, I feel slim I know I'm not anywhere near I want to be but you know what progress is progress and I'm proud of it so um, here's my measurements for you guys to see Okay, so these are my measurements and weight one week after I started my journey to just get moving. Isn't that awesome? I'm so proud of myself. I feel so good. I can't believe it. I had to get someone else to check the scale for me because I could not believe that there was three pounds gone. Three, three whole pounds gone off the scale. I just couldn't believe that. Um, the inches, like as I was measuring, I had to keep, I re-measured a couple of times thinking, no, 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 I did that wrong, I did that wrong, but I kept looking and then I looked back at to what I did last week and, and oh my goodness, I lost an inch, that is insane. Um, so I'm just really, really, really pleased with myself. So, um, yeah, so I'm really, really pumped. I'm going to head home now and see my peeps because they're all at home visiting with grandma and grandpa. Um, so I'm going to go home and see my peeps now and uh, get some dinner going, get some laundry and just get ready for the week. And I hope you guys had a great week. Um, thank you so much for watching. I can't believe how many people are watching, how many people are um, hitting me up and just letting me know that they're watching and giving me like a thumbs up, you know, like a positive just so much positive feedback. I'm so blessed and grateful for all of this. I can't believe it. I don't think I'd be able to do it without the help and support that I get um, from my loved ones. So I love you all very much. Thank you. If I don't know you and you're watching, thank you. I appreciate it so much. That to me just makes me want to cry uh, knowing that other people are, are 
kind of following along on my journey and, may, and joining in. I hope you guys are joining in. Um, if you want, feel free to leave comments below uh, about anything, about stuff you you know, you know think I should be doing, um, workouts that I should be trying, anything exciting uh, to keep me going, keep me motivated, all right? And you find a way to keep yourself motivated, and that's the biggest key, is just the motivation, keeping yourself wanting to do this, keeping yourself um, excited and always, ha you know, just be excited. Be excited about getting healthy because that's what it is. It's not getting skinny so I can look nice in that dress. Um, that's not my goal anyway. My goal isn't, you know, like, oh, I just, I'm not pretty enough. I, I don't feel that way at all. Um, I think I look fine. <laughs> <laughs> I I just want to feel healthier. I want to I don't want to feel sluggish. I hate that feeling and and it's funny now I've been a little bit more I know it's only been a week that I've really been aware of what I've been putting in my body But now as soon as I put any kind of crap like that pizza it would tasted great as it was going in Tasted great, but that whole afternoon. I felt like garbage and I knew I knew it was because of the pizza I felt sluggish. I felt tired. That was the first time on Friday afternoon Normally around 2 30 3 o'clock. I hit that wall at work where I just want to sleep all week I've been great because I haven't been snacking and I've been eating healthy. Friday though, when I had that pizza at lunch, all afternoon I was like, oh, I'd like to take a nap right now. I could curl up and take a nap. And I know it's because I ate the junk. So it's just, I have to make a conscious decision, make the right choices, and feel good. So I hope you guys are uh, feeling good too. And I hope you guys have a great week. Mwah. See you tomorrow.